Oh yeah. You have an email. I have an email. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. Um, part three today, and it's the unboxing of a solar generator I've been and bought. Anyway, let's get into it. So here's what I got. I got myself a Echo Flow Max. It's called. So it's like River Max, something like that. It says on there, and uh, yes, yeah, seems pretty good. Let's get it out and show you what I've got. Basically, if you do buy one of these, I bought this direct from their website, and it cost me, I think, five hundred and twenty. I paid, or just under, by using a bit of a code. Just search for a code and got myself a code off it. But um, remember to keep all your packaging. So if you've got any problems, obviously, it's going to have to go back. So anyway, let's have a look. Here's a box full of accessories. I'll get them out in a second. Let's get this out. Put that in there. And there's the river. I'll move the box over. No, just remove that. So there you go, and that's what we got. Not a bad little size, it's quite weighty, not too bad. You could carry you could carry it no problem and stuff like that. It's pretty neat like that. I quite like it. It's uh, got two 240s up to 600 watts there, which should be plenty for charging my bikes. Then uh, a little beauty under here this is the one I need just in there look this one here is to charge it by solar and that there is like an old kettle lead just charge it straight from the mains and it takes an hour and a half to charge it from the mains which is pretty cool I've only obviously got a hundred watt solar panel up and I'm not gonna get nowhere near a hundred not in this country that but it's gonna act as a trickle charger for this for me and just there you can see like where that line is above the echo flow max is the bottom battery like the extra add-on battery now you can buy them in two separate bits but it's a lot more expensive so i thought well i'm only gonna buy it once so just buy it as a pair and as you can see it's got usb3 two usb twos and it's got usb c at 100 watts for charging phones and high powered stuff so pretty cool bit of a light there i don't know whether that's just 12 volt and 24 i'll find out later on but yeah looks pretty neat power up just so we can have a look look at that now that does look sweet doesn't it you've got to admit but yeah quite happy with it yeah but it should do everything I need it to do. So, uh, yeah, more than happy with that. Let's just open this box up, see if I can open it up one handed, just to show you what's in there. If I can, some of these things are damn awkward to open, as you all know. But, yeah, and there we go. So that's what we got there's the stuff telling you all the connections like i said kettle lead another lead there that's for the add-on battery there's for your car charger on an xt60 xt60 on there and mc4 is on there perfect so basically everything there to get you started so I'm more than happy with that. Anyway, in the next video, I'll show you how I've connected it all up in my shed. In uh, what I what I think about it, really. You know, there is one thing that I can see straight away that I would have liked, and that is in here. I would have liked that to have been a QI charger in there, because that would have been cool to just put my phone there when I'm down in the shed messing about. And it could charge my phone at the same time or top it up or whatever so yeah anyway next video i'll show you you know if it works basically on all my batteries i'll catch you again and make sure stay safe out there 
and get out and ride.